Hello, I'm Sharon with Flat World Knowledge, and we're here today for a brief podcast with Dr. James Brousseau, author of the Business Ethics Workshop, a new book published with Flat World Knowledge. Hi, James. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for having me. No problem. We're excited to get started and to ask you a couple questions about uh, your new textbook with Flat World. So let's uh, let's jump in. So if you wouldn't mind telling our listeners, um, what made you decide to write a business ethics textbook? Yes. Um, yeah, I think that one reason way back there at the beginning uh, is that I I got tired of spending so much time in the uh, at the office photocopy machine. Uh, I mean. The one thing I found teaching the class, and I'm, I suspect that others have found this too, uh, is that students are very motivated by current event kind of articles from the newspapers. Uh, this is quite common. But I also found uh, the students are very engaged uh, by blogs and web discussion uh, pages. Uh, I mean by that, the kind of thing happens where, say, a student's coming out of college, uh, and she is noticing that all of her friends are sending their resumes off and these resumes are stretching the truth just a little bit. Mm-hmm. So she, she's not sure exactly what to do, and she writes up on one of these web pages. Uh, you know, all my friends are stretching their, their resumes. Should I do the same thing? Is that right or wrong? Help me. Right? And then there follows below a, a long trail of, of responses from other students, some saying, well, it's not really a lie if everybody's lying, or other people saying, well, it's fair to the employers. Uh, if everyone is stretching things a little bit, you should too, so they get a good idea of how good pe- students really are, etc. Uh, all these kinds of responses, uh, I found, uh, can be wrapped into a normal business ethics day in class. Uh, you strap some theory to them and then discuss them in the language of traditional business ethics. And uh, students then really become engaged uh, because the problems that we discuss in class are the kinds of problems they actually have. And the way the problems are, are worded are in the words that they actually use. Um, so b- because courses work so well with these kinds of uh, internet uh, dialogues, let's say, uh, I started going to the photocopy machine and photocopying them off before every class, it didn't take me long to figure out that since most of the books in the market don't have this kind of pages, it didn't take me long to figure out, well, I can easily just write my own textbook and put a healthy dose of these kinds of examples in there, and that will help me teach the class. So that was, I think that's what got me going. You know, I was just tired of being at the photocopy machine printing out these things, and I could just put them in a textbook. Um, that's, that's great. That's great. And actually, I think you're you're probably, at least I can feel it coming, leading us a little bit to kind of the the added value that the Business Ethics Workshop brings to the Business Ethics Classroom. Um, can you tell our listeners a little bit about kind of the the parts of the book that maybe make you most proud or that that'll help the instructors teach maybe maybe support them a little bit better than some of the other textbooks on the market right uh, yeah i think that uh, there are a number of books in the market and it's hard to draw up really black and white generalizations but um i think there are a number of things we can gesture toward that separate uh, the business ethics workshop from other books out there. Um, one is that uh, I really tried to concentrate on normal people in my case studies, in my examples. Uh, I find overwhelmingly that most of the books in the market, when they use examples, they talk about the CEO of IBM and some grand decision that he needs to make about laying off thousands of workers or some such thing. Uh, and of course, this is very valid business ethics, but it doesn't relate to normal people's lives. I mean, how many people are going to be a CEO? Uh, the kind of question that people really relate to are the questions like that I referred to previously. Well, should I stretch my CV or not? Um, or another example. Uh, let's take the, the business ethics question of copyright uh, and, the, and protections. Um, there are two very different ways of talking about that issue. Um, one is you can imagine or picture some lawyers and CEOs in the boardroom Or the other is you can go to the web and find examples of students talking about uh, whether or not they should stick the latest uh, Lady Gaga disc into their computer, run off copies, and give it to their friends. Both ways of talking about copyright infringement are equally functional in terms of the ethical issues. Uh, But that second way, uh, which puts it into the context of the way everyday people are living, uh, that's much more effective. So I think that the first thing that kind of separates my book from many of the others that are out there um, is this uh, 
tendency or this this attempt to always put the issues uh, into the hands of real people. Um, I think that uh, a, a, a second uh, sort of distinction is connected with the first, uh, is that in many of the textbooks there are a lot of hypothetical cases and examples. Uh, in my textbook there are almost none. Uh, almost every example that I give really does trace back to the real world somewhere, and I think that adds some stickiness to the text and makes it, it, makes it real. Um, now, this notion of, of, a, of a real solid text with issues that people can relate to, I think, is, makes the text quite engaging, and I hope that that, finally, is what will separate my textbook from others in the market, that mine will be more engaging than others. And if it does that, then hopefully it will be more enjoyable and easier for professors to teach with. That's right, right? So when the students actually come to class prepared because they were engaged by the reading, then you can have a much more uh, dynamic classroom setting, right? Yes, active discussions. That makes everyone's, that makes everyone's classroom more enjoyable. Yes. That's great. So, so my last question for you today mm -hmm. um, is if you would share with our listeners what made you decide to publish your book with Flat World Knowledge. You obviously could have published it elsewhere, mm -hmm. um, and we're happy you chose to publish with us. Uh, so I think sometimes it, it helps our listeners to understand maybe what the author felt um, as added value to, to publishing in a Flat World Knowledge type model rather than the more traditional ones. Right. The most important, clearly the most important factor is that we can keep, we will be able to keep this textbook up to date um, because so much of the text relies upon using current discussions about issues that are in the news or on students' minds. Um, we can put in new cases as they're needed and insert those directly into the book and then students uh, say they're faced with a new chapter. They don't need to buy an entire new book. They can maybe just borrow the book that their friend had and buy that one chapter from Flat World um, or read it for free on the computer. I think what this, what the Flat World model allows me to do is to keep the book current without constantly dooming students to buying the new version over and over again. Um, I think that's the main, that was the main thing that drew me to Flat World, this, ability, this idea that we could keep things always fresh. Um, and then, of course, the second reason is that everybody knows that textbook prices are a scandal, uh, and it's good that Flat World is stepping in to do something about that. Those are the two main reasons I chose Flat World. Well, that's great. And like I said, you know how proud we are to have you and to have uh, your book publishing in, um, in the Flat World Knowledge Publishing House. So thank you, James, and thank you today for your time. Um, of well, course. Thank you, and I was happy to be here, Sharon. Oh, that's great. And you know what? Thanks to all of our listeners out there for spending a handful of minutes with us today to learn a little bit more from James Brousseau about his new textbook, The Business Ethics Workshop, published by Flat World Knowledge. We hope you'll request a desk copy. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye now.